subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss another update from India Forums. The film was really nice and uh, we had a great uh, experience shooting it and Touchwood uh, we are I'm showered with great uh, reviews uh, for my performance and that's what is the kick. For me, my television set has never been uh, like a workplace. I, it's always been a playground or rather a school where I go and I practice. I practice like I practice my sports, like say football or cricket or anything else or martial arts. It is going and practicing my acting. First of all, a very typical question I want to ask you. How has life after marriage been for you? I want to do that, but it's not like that. It's been really beautiful. I think I was scared of marriage in the life of marriage. After marrying, I realized that it's not so bad that it's not so bad. Especially when you get a right partner. So, yeah, I think... Uh, I don't call it a shadi. I think it's more of uh, two best friends living together. Okay. We still feel, Sangeeta and I, we feel that, you know, it's just we are living in together, two buddies. We, uh, we learn together, we play together, we work together. And uh, yeah, we explore the world together. So yeah, I think it's been fabulous. Okay, so you re recently made a comeback on screen after a brief, brief break with Neema. Uh, tell us about the experience and how was it offered to you and what happened during that? It was a fun experience because uh, um, I was done with the feature film, we were waiting, waiting for the release and I got to know this is like a short commitment I have. And so I was like, let's just take it up because we need money. <laughs> we have, and television is a lot of money, touch wood. So that is one reason which was uh, the motivation. Uh, I took up the show and uh, yeah, I, I think I met some fabulous actors there. And uh, we, I met uh, like the, what's her name? Surbi, Surbi Das. Uh, she became an inspiration in no time because uh, I'm someone who doesn't post on Instagram very often and she's the one who lives on Instagram. I think because she has rent on Instagram. She on Instagram. So every now and then, so she was like a big motivation and I post like once in six months. That one month span, I posted twice a day. So that was one hell of a journey and it was great, you know, bonding again with the same TV, uh, what do you call it, gang and, you know, meeting those directors and the teams and stuff. So it was nostal living that nostalgia. Right. So what is it that you miss the most about, you know, TV sets and shooting for a television show? I think I love every bit of it. So I miss every bit of it uh, because uh, for me, that's like a fabulous uh, practice or a different discipline altogether. For me, my television set has never been uh, like a workplace. I, it's always been a playground or rather a school where I go and I practice. I practice like I practice my sports, like say football or cricket or anything else or martial arts. It is going and practicing my acting. So it is as good as this thing. And plus you have a lot of other players who inspire you. Like, you know, we had Jayati Bhatia ma'am, uh, Nimisha Bakharia ma'am. Here also there were some fabulous theatre actors in the show. Uh, the, so, you know, there, there's always so much of learning happening there. So I think I'm too engrossed in that and I miss that learning, I miss that fun, I miss going to school. Right. Okay, uh, talking about Neema once again, you know, the show abruptly went off air. So mm. when you came to know about it, what was your reaction and did it bother you or anything like that? Not at all. So uh, what happened was, uh, I, as it is, had a little time uh, because the whole uh, movie promotion and whatever was scheduled. I knew, I had a little calculation in my head that, you know, with Big Boss, it is going to go off air any which ways. And it was like kind of little, in subtle sweet way conveyed to me. But that's okay. Uh, I was like mentally prepared. Also the fact that, you know, uh, like I think there was a little preponement about one month of uh, this thing. But that was also fair because whatever share of journey we had, we had a great, great time. But there was one little relief, uh, which was... Uh, Traveling to Naigaon was crazy for me, like, you know, I, and we were shooting day night. So there was my other work, my other work was completely hampered rather. Sangeeta was overburdened with it and she had to go and attend meetings and stuff. So, yeah, like, you know, it was a very happy, whatever time I spent there with no regrets, it was like absolutely happy time. And even when it ended, no regrets. I had like, I have friends for life now. Right. Okay, Manish, I want to ask you one thing. Do you believe that, uh, you know, as actors, your job is very uh, unpredictable, of course. But a lot of times when uh, I've spoken to actors, they say that this is the beauty of it. 
so do you agree to it that uh, the beauty of being an actor lies in the unpredictability of the profession or the uncertainty i don't know actually uh, i think the, god has been really kind that you know i've i've been working like 24/7 for all these years and uh, when i say 24/7 it's no exaggeration because i believe if you can just google there are so many articles my drivers got changed because i was shooting 7 to 7 here 7 to 7 here so uh, i've never seen that phase touch wood and even after uh, like you know for a feature film i had to take a little drift so that also has been like a great learning curve because it wasn't i didn't get a free time so i don't know if it is you know people probably actors want to explore themselves when while taking a break i think every artist wants a break but my learning is mostly on field so i don't think i look forward to breaks i love working and even if i'm not working i'm working really hard like right. lockdown my work was i was working for 16 hours a day okay. so yeah i celebrate that okay so tell us who have you been in touch with your co stars from the past and so i think uh, i am in touch with everybody and nobody okay <laughs> at the same time because uh, um like you know i'm not someone who uh, i'm not a phone person so my phone is always on silent without the vibrator so uh, that's the reason i even i'm ashamed of exchanging numbers because people might get offended ki ye phone uthata nahi hai uh but uh, i'm pretty detached that way but when we meet it is like house on fire i don't think there's be, there's any gap and whatever so let it be jayati ma'am let it be uh, uh, abika let it be from our show uh, let it be nimisha ma'am sumer so i think we all are in touch and when we meet and when we are not we are not so it's as simple as that okay uh, so an upcoming film with avika is on the cards tell us about it what exactly is the film going to be and a little update that film has released okay okay <laughs> so uh, so the thing is uh, the film was one great experience uh, i think again a lot of learning happened there as well because um, every actor with me was a veteran then in the own way paintels uh, aruna ma'am uh, avika uh, i'm calling you a veteran by the way <laughs> what's wrong with me <laughs> okay no you are a veteran by the way so uh, 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 prateek gandhi uh, wow. himang uh, and gorav gera oh my god uh, amit thakur meenakshi ma'am so there was a whole lot of learning in in the film as well and um, uh, like you know the destiny of the film probably Uh, was kind of predictable because there was no marketing of the film but the film was really nice and uh, we had a great uh, experience shooting it and touchwood uh, we are i'm showered with great uh, reviews uh, for my performance and that's what is the kick so yeah i'm really happy like you know uh, i didn't know this that when the song released uh, there was a lot of comparison with sushant singh uh when the film released there there's one some some very senior critics so everywhere it was all fabulous things written written about my performance and one uh, of them uh mentioned that um, he's like ranveer singh and whatever so that's pretty uh, you know very flattering to hear something compliments like that in bit in your first film you are being compared to wow. some really amazing people you admire right okay uh, talking about your uh, future projects tell us what is in the pipeline for your fans So um another film which is a biopic and uh, we will be able to talk about it more when it is announced but that is a little later before that um I have started writing uh, so I was pre- uh, and producing so this particular there are couple of things which are in the pipeline which we are in the developing stage already and uh, so hopefully you will see me writing and acting in them both and uh, I have just completed a feature film as a writer which is a good banner and yeah so like you know things have been really happening and buzzing and really happy about it right okay so manish also i wanted to know that what do you think of reality shows and will you ever be associated with one in the future and if yes which which is that one show that you would like to be associated with i love watching reality shows and i was having this discussion with this very senior uh, you know channel guy and uh, that's what you were saying the unscripted shows are so fabulously like this thing you know, they're doing pretty well even on the ott as well i'm somehow in front of the camera not cut for them <laughs> i'm too boring i can talk i can have a lot of fun but when it comes to giving drama i think i just uh, withdraw myself very quickly so um uh, i don't think i'll i'm cut for that i uh, 
like you know for shows like big boss um i don't think i'll be able to give any drama shows like khatron ke khiladi i don't think my parents will let me go so i'm hanging somewhere in between <laughs> so yeah no reality shows for me okay lastly what is that one thing you'd like to say to everybody who's been waiting to you know see you back on screens again uh like always i would like to say soon and it all depends on the destiny how soon things are announced and released because like you know the last film was supposed to release before pandemic and now it is released so uh it does take a little time uh sometimes but i hope this time it's really really quick and god does that magic and i'll see you soon again on screen that's it manish thank you so much thank you so much talking to you pleasure is all mine we hope that you guys enjoyed this chat with her if you did do comment and tell us anshul choudhury camera person baba ji and vinit india forums mumbai